Valve just announced three new products in their Steam hardware lineup. And today's video, I'm focusing completely on the new Steam machine, your next potential console style mini PC. So let's get into the full details. So what is Stream Machine? Steam Machine is a powerful gaming PC in a small but mighty package, designed for your games on the big screen. So it's a mini PC, but kind of look like a console. Design-wise, it looks pretty solid. It's clean, full black cube, and very minimal aesthetic. It is compact, modern, and fit perfectly on a desk or next to your TV. And since it is a full PC at its core, you can run almost any software you want on it. Whether it is gaming, streaming, apps, productivity tools, or even emulators. So it is basically a tiny box that gives you the freedom of desktop computer. Now, let's get into the main story, the specs. The CPU inside this system is semi-custom AMD Gen 4 chip with 6 core and 12 thread. One paper, that's the same core count as AMD's newly released Ryzen 5 75X 3D. But remember, the desktop CPU pull around 65 watt of power, while this one is designed to run roughly 30 watts. So it is not meant to compete with the high-end desktop processor. If we want a real comparison, it makes more sense to stack it against mobile or laptop processor. Bax actually made a video about this, and I'm pretty much on the same page as him. This CPU closely matched to the AMD Ryzen 5 7640U. It has the same core and thread count and similar TDP around 28W. The 7440U came out in 2023, which isn't old but in tech year, that's already quite a bit of time. Now here is the main difference. The 7640U is an APU with integrated graphics, while Valve's stream machine doesn't use integrated GPU at all. It has dedicated graphics card and since Valve already confirmed this is a semi-custom chip, I strongly believe this is the same silicon they are modifying for the system. In terms of performance, it is actually a solid CPU for a compact console style PC. You are getting efficient Gen 4 performance without the heavy power draw. Valve says it can handle 4K but I have some doubt about that. Moving on to the GPU, yes, this system actually comes with dedicated graphics card. It uses a semi-custom AMD RDNA 3 GPU with 28 complete units and 8 GB of VRAM. Before we drive deeper, remember it's RDNA 3. For context, PlayStation 5 uses RDNA 2, but honestly RDNA 3 and RDNA 2 aren't massive different in real world performance, especially when we are talking about custom console class chips. Valve compared this GPU with the desktop RX 7600, which launched in 2023. The RX 7600 has 32 compute units, slightly more than this chip's 28 compute units. But the important detail is TDP. The desktop RX 7600 pulls around 165 watt, while GPU inside the Valve's box run at roughly 110 watt. So there is no way it is matching desktop version performance. If we want a realistic comparison, it should look like RX 7600M, the AMD's mobile GPU released in January 2023. It has the same computer count and similar power limit, so performance will likely be in that range. Now here is the real issue, the AGB VRAM. We all know how limiting AGB has become in modern games. Even if the GPU theoretically matched the performance of RX 7600 desktop, which it won't, AGB already struggles in many new titles. And the RX 7600 itself is weaker than Nvidia's RTX 5050, and we already know how messed the 5050 situation is. The real world use, this semi custom chip will perform below RX 7600 desktop and closer to the 7600M. Combine that with only AGB of VRAM, and you already imagine the limitation. That was the main hardware specs. Now let's quickly go through the rest. The system include an internal power supply, so no bulky power bricks or messy cable management. It supports 110 to 240 volt, which is a great for worldwide use. It comes in two storage options, 512 GB NVMe SSD and 2TB NVMe SSD. And both models also include a high-speed micro SD card slot for extra storage. 
Now on the port side, it is a little disappointing that there is no HDMI 2.1. That would have been a perfect for high refresh 4K, but here is what you get. Two USB A 3.2 Gen 1 ports on the front and on the back you are getting two USB A 2.0, one USB C 3.2 Gen 2 ports. The whole unit weighs around 2.6 kg, which makes it a pretty compact and easy to place mini PC style console. Valve is planning to release this machine in early 2026. While the price isn't officially confirmed yet, I personally think it will land somewhere around $700. Anything higher than that might be too much for what it offers. Hopefully you understand the full specs and what is this new Steam machine is all about. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button cause I upload daily tech news. And hey Valve, if you are watching this, feel free to send me the review in it. When I become famous YouTuber, I will work with you for free. No joke. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.